Hello everybody. My name is Sam. I'm a mother, I'm a grandmother, and I'm an educator. And today I'm going to read for you The Runaway Hug. I just recently read this book and I just thought it was such a lovely story that I wanted to share it with you today. It's by Nick Bland and Freya Blackwood. At the end of the story you will need some paper and a marker keeping it really simple today, but a really good exercise to do with your child. The runaway hug. I love this. I think the little girl's getting ready for bed. Putting on her pajamas. All ready now. Mummy, said Lucy, can I have a hug before I go to bed? Oh dear, said Mummy. I only have one left. It's my very last hug. Can I borrow it, said Lucy. I promise I'll give it back. It was long and soft and Lucy thought it was very nice. Thank you, said Lucy. I'll bring it back as soon as I'm finished with it. Can you imagine your mum only having one hug left? I can't imagine that at all. And she dashed off to find Daddy. Hmm, where do you think Daddy is? Do you think he's in here watching the TV? Daddy, said Lucy, would you like a hug? It's the very last one, so you have to promise to give it back. I promise, said Daddy, and Lucy gave him Mum's very last hug. Now can I have it back, said Lucy. Daddy picked her up and squeezed her as tight as a knot. The hug was stronger than before, but just as nice. So she ran off to find the twins. Hmm. Boys, said Lucy, would you like a hug? No, yuck, said the boys. But it's the very last one, said Lucy, and before the boys could run away, she squeezed them both tightly. Now can I have it back, said Lucy. The boys grumbled, but they gave her the hug together. It was twice as big as before, but just as nice. So she skipped away to find Lily. I think that's Lily, the little baby. Would you like a big hug, Lily, said Lucy. Lily always wanted a hug. She threw open her little arms and Lucy gave her a great big hug. Before Lucy could ask for it back, Lily giggled and hugged her again. It smelled like peanut butter, but it was just as nice as before. So she raced off to find Annie. Hmm. Mum and Dad, twins, Lily. I wonder who Annie is. Annie was very naughty, but Lucy loved her just the same. Would you like a big hug, Annie, she said. Annie woofed, so Lucy leaned over and gave her a peanut buttery hug. I think Annie loves that. But as soon as she let go, Annie turned around and ran straight out the door, taking Mummy's very last hug with her. <gasps> oh no, the runaway hug. Lucy chased her down the hall and up the stairs and in and out of every room, but Annie was just too fast. Lucy felt horrible. She wanted to cry. She was about to go tell Mummy she had lost her last hug when Annie jumped out from nowhere. She landed right on top of Lucy and licked her all over her face. The hug was a lot more slobbery than before, but just as nice. By the time Lucy got to her room, Mummy was waiting. She climbed into bed and gave the last hug back to Mummy. It was a little sleepier, but just as nice as before. And Mummy was very glad to have it back. Can I have a kiss? said Lucy. Of course you can, said Mummy. I have plenty 
of those. I thought she was going to say, I only have one kiss left. She has lots of kisses. So it got me thinking about words. And if you think about the word hug, hug starts with an H, 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 has a U in the middle, A, uh, A, uh, has a G at the end, G, G. So what we're going to do, we're going to play a little bit of a word game. So you could do this verbally in the car when you're driving along if your child's older and they have more understanding of sounds and phonemes, but we're just going to do it on paper. So it's a bit of a game. It's a really quick one. You could do it while you're waiting for the bus. So if you think of the word hug, so you write the word hug down and together you with your child you'd say what's the first sound? H, A, G. And what we're going to change, do, we're going to change the first sound. So we're going to change H, hug, into maybe bug. So we go B, A, you could do dug, lug, hmm, don't think lug spelt that way. Hug, bug. Now we're going to change the middle, middle sound. And I guess this is where you might talk about vowels. So we need to maybe write the vowels. A, E, I, O, U. So we're going to change the vowel. We've used that one, so what else could we do? We could make it bag. We could make it beg, we could make it big, or we could make it bog. I think I'll just make it bag. So bug now becomes bag. B, A, G. And now we're going to change the last sound. So the first two sounds stay the same. B, hmm, bag. Let's make it B, A, T, bat. And we've gone from hug to bat. It's just a nice little word game. It doesn't take very long. Keep them as consonant vowel, consonant words. Keep it simple. Have a lovely day. Be good to each other. All the best. Bye-bye.